What if there is a connection between my nightmares and Luis's father's disappearance? Well, I can't imagine what it could be. I mean, what if it's Luis's father that's under the bloody sheet? What if I killed Martin Fitzgerald? Sheridan, you're not making sense. It, there's no way it could be Martin Fitzgerald or anyone. It was a dream. Nothing happened. Why a dream? I mean, after all these years to have the same one over and over. You've got it in your head that your nightmare was about that night that Luis's father disappeared. But you're wrong. How do you know? Because it's a dream. But, you know, if I was you, I would not tell Luis that your dream was about that night. Don't let him make the connection. You know, on the one hand, you say that it was nothing, that it was just a dream. But at the same time, you tell me not to tell anyone. It's because it will breed rumors, it will put the spotlight on the cranes, and it will hurt you. Luis hates our family. If he thought he had a chance to smear us, he would attack us like a pit bull. I don't know, Ethan. Well, I do. And not only do you have to worry about Luis, think about the media and the tabloids, what they would do. I mean, they would have a field day, Sheridan. And it would be a nightmare for you. All because of a dream. But the absolute worst thing that could happen is that Luis will start digging around with some trumped-up investigation into his father's disappearance. Ross. Oh. Ivy, you're as white as a sheet. You look worse than you did when you fainted before. You should go and lie down, Mrs. Crane. Yeah, she has a good deal of explaining to do first. What the hell's the meaning of this? You really do look pale. How could you let this happen below? You were supposed to keep Julian from opening the case. Now he's seen the papers. Now he knows. You must destroy that portfolio, Mrs. Crane. If Sam Bennett or Julian were to find the papers and the pictures it holds, Ethan's life would be turned upside down, and I know you don't want that. No, of course I don't. But what's in here is more than just proof that Ethan is Sam's son. It's proof that Sam loved me and that our love lives on in Ethan. I can't let go of that boy. I just I can't. I'm waiting, Ivy. 